And then Shrika fan. A lot of fans here. Just won a tournament on Long Island preceding this event, so he's come in here confident. But 11 seed. And Lake Cured at number six. Not used to seeing him as the number six seed. That is Wally said, the person who can really focus. Seats, please. And ready to play. really get the mental application to this match right. He's going to have a big chance of winning. The players have been waiting Chris around. Chris 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 One o'clock, the match was scheduled play. to play. They've been waiting eight and a half hours. Stricker fan to serve first. Alan Layton's just running into Trigger Pan at a rough time. He's just starting to regain some of the confidence that he had throughout last year. Probably overplayed a little bit last year, Trigger Pan. A bit jaded the first six months of this year. Starting to come good. How do you see the matchup there with Layton in the back of the court and Trigger Pan trying to get in, maybe? A little like uh, Dent Agassi? Yeah, not dissimilar. I think Trigger Pan plays. He'll play more from the back of the court. And Dent, he'll be a little more sparing in his forays to the net. I think Leighton starts favourite, but he really will have to play well. He's a big, strong kid, Trigger Pan. I mean, he can hit a winner from just about anywhere in the court. Very powerful player. A little suspect on the second serve. in there to put it back well, away. They've played five really? times head to head and uh, Hewitt's ahead 4-1 so he would take some confidence I think with that score line. The one loss though was on a hard court. Mm. It's very similar to this. First game. A big contingent of fans have been following him around. Usually wear the red shirts. He's like royalty in Thailand. He is. He actually travels on There's a diplomatic his dad. passport. Dad, father and coach. Shemisai. You and the sir. I don't think any of that uh, rather loud support will bother Leighton. No, he's, he's won matches in the, down in South America. He's had worse. He's serving for the first time. Fifteen left. I guess in some respects, you think by day, Shrika Pan gets a little more help with his serve and his bigger ground shots, but I guess the irony of that is, I think Leighton actually quite, he prefers quicker conditions. I mean, he's won the US Open, he's won on Wimbledon. They're the two fastest yeah. tournaments in the year. He actually likes the ball coming on because it enables him to generate a bit more pace. It's heavier. Not necessarily. 
I don't necessarily, yeah, I don't yep. see it as a huge advantage for him. By day, he actually gets a little more help with his serve. The ball's quicker through the air. Gets a little bit more off the court. He hasn't got a first serve in yet. already the, the players having come out this late quarter to ten they started very heavy the majority of the errors are all in the net so they just have to make the adjustment that's where most of his first serves are heading at the moment Starting a match. Well, you don't want to show too much too early. <laughs> That's not showing too much. <laughs> Always want to keep a bit in reserve. If you can win with just second serves, why not? No, he wouldn't be happy with that. He certainly something that uh, is important. Well, there he even just tried to change up. Just a kicker. Drag that down into the net. So a few problems with his rhythm. Well, oh, second serve. serve. Once again. It's not giving the ball enough air in this damp light conditions. Well, Superfan can be explosive, he can hit winners, forehand or backhand. Yes. He can be a little erratic at times, but he has the ability to really lift his game, play some magnificent shots. That's why he's a dangerous player. Gets the first serve in and Sugar Band pounced on it. Great point. And then the Sugar Band. There, just couldn't find the rhythm on his first serve. Even the last couple that went in, they weren't hit with a lot of venom. So that's certainly not the start you want. Waiting 48 hours to play this match. Finally get on court. hits a ball, you have no chance of reading where it's going. I'm not quite sure where he was going with that. from the back of the court from Leighton Hewitt. 15 And I think that's a good sign. I think if Leighton 
falls in a pattern of play of just trying to be consistent and keeping the ball back and not making any errors. I think shrikapan has got a big enough game to hurt him, but if he takes the offensive and gets on the front foot whenever possible, I think that's the right way to go. Well, he just didn't move his feet. He reached for it. He had it a long way away from his body. It's tough to control. of the two break points so uh, one perhaps luckily saved by Shrisha fan Fist as he's delighted to break back immediately. Trisha Man leads two games to one. He needed that, otherwise it would have been a pretty tough assignment. Three love down right off the bat in this first set. So Hewitt breaks back. We'll take a break and then we join his efforts here. Fourth round men singles. Sherilyn and Gwyn Hewitt have had a long wait as well. They've been out here at the National Tennis Centre here since uh, 11 o'clock. Look a little on edge here. But their son has broken back. It's 1 2. 15 left. Needing to start better on serve here than the previous game where his first five first serves missed. required I have to see him do more of this in his matches he's quite a sound volleyer something as he was running out Two wide there. Sri Japan, there was no coming back. So just a bit of a looping volley which missed. So Hewitt uh, back strongly here from two love down.
planet for certain. time of the evening They've been waiting two days not just one but two days to play this match they've been on different courts they've been rescheduled there's been matches cancelled in front of them moved forward all sorts of things that play on your mind when you're waiting to play an important match finally at 9 45 p.m they've got started it's now 2-3 It's good to see Leighton come into the net when he gets the opportunity. He won Wimbledon. I think he came to the net three times in the whole tournament. Mm. So he can win from the back, but I think against a lot of these bigger, more physical players, you just have to take your chances to shorten the points wherever possible. And if he comes in on a bit of that shot, as he did that previous point, the volley's really just a routine one. And he actually is a very good volleyer. I mean, even if he is forced to pick up a few tougher volleys, he can do it. He's got good technique. He moves well, obviously. opponents know that he's going to move forward when he gets a short ball puts a little bit more pressure on them when they are stretched they know they can't just float it back up the center of the court there is Leighton's mum and dad Sherilyn and Glynn look a bit concerned this evening yeah well this is a tough assignment three all he's very much a confidence player isn't he super fan and his confidence has lifted this last yeah, month yeah. or so well, he's quite a flat striker of the ball. I mean, that's a big flat first serve and a very orthodox backhand. And his margin for error is not terrific. There's the pace of the match. So when he is confident, he just hits very freely. And invariably, when you're confident, things go your way. I mean, even that first serve, there's very little spin on it. some of the supporters. Swisher families, four games to three percent. Dressed in red with their red, I what you call those things, that they're tapping together instead of applauding. Makes a noise, though. He's a 
very, very popular player and, and invariably a little like Shaw and Ivanisic. Wherever he went, the Croatian supporters were there in numbers and it's the same for Shrikafan. Wherever he goes, the Thai community seems to rally and come out and support him. I think uh, the Aussie fans are well outnumbered. Well, it must be a relief to be out on the court here. Yeah. sweat. <laughs> Very unusual weather conditions for you, New York this time of year. You might get a thunderstorm and a heavy rain, delay play for an hour or so, and then it'll clear. But two days of drizzle would hardly have registered a couple of points. And Steve Ulrich just uh, drying a few things, it looks like. Don't tell me. It's not, or is it? Are we not saying there's a little bit more mist? We just oh, said that on, it's come on. two days. Now it's... I think he said stay there. Is he saying it's all right? No, I think he said just stay in your chair and yeah. we'll see what... Uh... Oh, surely not. Uh, it's all three. In critical stage to have the rain interruption. He's getting back up in his chair. So it's... players aren't going to go back to the locker room they're just going to sit there and hope that it'll just pass over scores three four just getting into the match the players so boy is this disappointing for them and usually the uh, court attendant holds an umbrella up to shield you from the sun Well, it's extraordinary weather. I mean, umbrella or no, I mean, you, you wouldn't get wet. You no. can walk around in it without getting wet, but it just creates this light. It's almost like condensation on the court. You can see no one in the crowd has got their umbrella up. It's of no consequence, but just enough to create a sheen, to make it difficult for the players. And particularly on the lines, as we've mentioned before, painted surface really uh, take a bad slip push off in a hurry try to retrieve a ball and push off the line well this is rough I mean there it is what once it's a little heavier it always looks worse in the lights yeah. for whatever reason you can see this guys sitting behind Leighton t-shirts no yeah. real no real problem Possibly on a clay court, we'd be still be playing. Yeah, they wouldn't so worry about it too much. Roland Garros and the uh, French Open, we'd still be playing. Would have no effect on the court. In Australia, we'd be playing. We'd have the roof over. Yep, both roofs over. We'd be playing on two courts there in Melbourne. But here we are, three, four. Just the, we're just starting to warm up into this set. We're starting to well, there it pick is. up some things that were happening. And now the players, in fact, have been told to leave. Eleven. See what's happening over there. Leighton Hewitt, Paragon, Shrieker fan, warming up. Big contingent of uh, fans, the Shrisha fans, as they're known, that uh, go around supporting uh, Paragon Shrisha fan. Well, these players have already been out once today. They had their five-minute warm-up. That was a few hours ago. Just as they were taking their final practice serves, the rain came down. You can see in the background, the score stands. Pan's leading 4-3, late in serve. Now, this is a, a court change. They were on grandstand in their previous match, and grandstand court is water-affected. Waterlogged. Waterlogged, yep. Yeah. The water's actually coming from the base of the court to the surface, so there might be a problem with that court for the rest of the tournament. Okay, well, this match is obviously just about to get underway, so we'll stay here and uh, we'll just keep you updated with what's happening on the Ash Court with um, Fedra and Nalbandian. Leighton Hewitt, 3 4. Let's hope he's warmed up because you wouldn't want to just have a slight misstep here or the first set would be gone. It's an awkward situation, isn't it? 
Normally you'd like to serve first in a set, but uh, I'm not sure you want to be serving first when the score's 3-4. I'm sure Leighton would prefer it to be reversed. A few last minute adjustments from Leighton Hewitt. Started off when this match did commence a couple of days ago by dropping his opening serve. If he does that here, it'll be just about the set. He's well aware of that fact. So continuation. Fourth round men's singles out on court 11, which is a real pity. Should be on one of the major courts. unusual too you can see the, the shadows the uh, players are casting it's actually they've got the lights out outside out here on court 11 still a fairly overcast day the sun's never really quite made it through so that's a start he was looking yeah. for two unreturnables Trisha a little bit surprised at the short one. It covers the net well. Pretty comfortable at 30, love. Not the case now. Dangerous players, capable of a lot of power, particularly on that forehand wing. Aggressive forehand there, Hewitt. Got the short return. Didn't just try to uh, baby that one back. Went hard into the corner. Forced the error. He really needs to do that, I think, on all shortish balls on his forehand. And an ace for the game. So a good finish to that game when challenged. Forehand winner and uh, an ace. Just as equally important service game for Stricker fans as uh, a lapse here, and the set would almost be gone. It's, it's a tough situation. Normally, when you come out on court, it can take up to two or three games, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, before all the nerves finally leave you. And uh, Surprised me too, Alan, to see a lot of the errors in the net, just so heavy. Mm. Yes, the surrounds of the court are damp, the air is still dampish, the ball hitting the backdrop, anything it hits is going to pick up a little bit of moisture.
nice angle on that backhand from the Shrika fan. Well, Leighton was just very steady that rally. You almost get the feeling he was just waiting for Shrika fan to miss. Just pretty much rallying up the centre. Just made up his mind he's going to keep the pressure on in this game. I think there, Leighton had a couple of short balls. Gee, I think he maybe should have chipped and come in there. This important uh, stage of the set. If you're wondering what that droning sound that you can hear in the background, it's the uh, sound of blowers on adjoining courts trying to dry them off. So should the fan though, hold serve. Comfortably in the end to lead 5 4. Well, Leighton a little bit tentative in that game. You yeah. get the feeling he's just trying to keep it in play, hoping that uh, Trisha Fan might have found his range, would make a few errors. That wasn't the case. So, this match is basically this is the fourth day. This match was called four days ago. I'm sure Leighton and uh, Shusha Van have never experienced anything quite like this. It does tend to play on your on your nerves. It's a real disappointment for everybody, isn't it? I mean, this should be uh, you know either on if not the Ash Court, then one of the other two big stadiums with a full house with the players able to get really pumped up with the importance of the occasion plus the crowd and a real atmosphere and a real opportunity to for the players to get involved in a tremendous match. They're still going to try 100 percent of course but the circumstances of where they're playing and the conditions and the stop staff type of match that it is it makes it difficult to uh, to really get fired up and produce their best. So the mental side of it is very important here and Hewitt's usually as tough as anybody in that regard, so I don't think it'll hurt him as much as maybe Stricker fan. Anyway, we'll see. It's 4 5. Just looks a little tentative to me, Leighton, at this point. Three of those days, both players were out here for over 12 hours waiting to go on before they were cancelled. short forehand errors from Hewitt again really feeling for the ball there rather than uh, whipping it hard into the corner so he's put himself in a hole here at love 30 and once again both errors in the net you really do have to allow for these heavy conditions respect the net serving uh, on some big points second serves to the forehand didn't get it away right in the hitting zone yeah, you could see there he just couldn't get it close enough to the line to slide away just a little half step there and he was on it he's got three set points as well serve and first blood to Paradon Stricker fans 6-4. The 
And okay, well, with that disappointment for Hewitt in the opening set here, we'll quickly go back to Ash Stadium Court. And up there. Tough assignment now facing Leighton Hewitt after having dropped that first set. Against a very explosive and a confident player at the moment, Paradon Shrishafan. Oh! On a tournament in Long Island leading up to this uh, US Open, so he came in here confident. That was just one of those scenarios you just didn't want. You could see it happening late in trailing 3-4. He comes out. All the pressure's on him. He's got to serve first. They hang on the first two games. He's down 4-5. He hasn't really got his teeth into the set yet. Trisha fan, he gets ahead in the count. And he just opens his shoulders on a few returns. And Leighton drops his serve. So the worst possible scenario. But one you can expect with all the delays. Leighton's a player too. He doesn't win on the quality of, of one or two shots hit here or there. He's really a player that builds up pressure over time. And obviously no chance to do that. An opportunity here to get off to a good start in the second. Big chance now. Three errors, really, from uh, Shrek Japan. Oh, oh. A long way back there to return that second serve. I mean, at love 40, second serve, I think he needed to be a little bit more positive than that. Well, you can see there, just jogging around. Ball stayed low. Well, he's just suggesting the balls are very heavy, so they didn't come onto his racket. It's not going to if he's standing that far back for a second, sir. They sound very heavy off, off the player's rackets, I've got to say. Well, playing the penalty for being too aggressive there and pretty much giving you at the break. That will certainly lift him. Quickly to the chair there. Has to take advantage of this. It's a difficult opponent for him though, Shrika fan. While he's the sort of player that Leighton's been having trouble with, someone with a big first serve, and then maybe a big forehand that can do hit a lot of clean winners. Yeah, I think this week though there's been signs that Leighton, there's been matches where for a couple of sets, I mean he's played some great tennis and I would have thought if the players would have come out in a situation where they could have just played the match from go to woe, I would have backed late. And I think he's playing well enough to take care of Shrika fan. Just all these rain delays turns everything into a bit of a lottery. I think his confidence is just starting to grow a little. match to be played in bright sunshine, warmer conditions. Clayton definitely likes the ball coming onto his racket, plus he gets a little more help with his serve when things are quicker. I think the mental side, uh, he'll handle that all right. I mean, he'd try just as hard if he's out on court 17. Yeah, that, that won't be a problem. But Stricker fan is an emotional sort of player who thrives on uh, crowd involvement and getting himself fired up. balls into the tape so maybe just letting that ball drop a bit low on his backhand 
It often likes to take one big step towards the ball and then sweep up on the back of it on his backhand. in the rally, hits it right on the line, just draws a short ball. It's called out and overruled. Steve Ulrich, so obviously the point's going to be replayed, but Leighton was well on top in the rally. Again, the errors in the net, both players just really having trouble with the pace of the conditions. I guess, Alan, court 11, this would be a lot of ground pass holders, non-reserve seating, and uh, this match was scheduled on grandstand where I presume you would have needed a ticket, yep. one of the show courts, so a bonus for some of the fans that have stuck around since the start of play at 11 o'clock. I think the ticketing policies, it's just been a nightmare what to do with the tickets these last three or four days and all the washouts. That was a tentative second serve from Leighton. On the game point, no acceleration there. We have a look at his first serve percentage as well. It's 38%. Uh, it's never great, but that's uh, very low. Sometimes you look at the stats, errors made, or service percentage, and he, he's a type of player, though. He, he's got that little intangible. He needs to get his teeth in the match. He needs to run. He needs to play a few big points, a couple of scrambling points to fire him up and just really get his adrenaline going. And uh, this match, so far, he hasn't been afforded that luxury. Well, a net error there, but uh, he, he was at least trying to finish off the point in the right position so decision making was correct Trisha fan there, Hewitt coming in in a very deep approach shot. Won't see a better topspin lob than this off the backhand. No, you won't see too many single-handers attempting the shot. That's the sort of dangerous player he is, though. He can come up with those sort of shots just when it looks like his opponent's got him in the point. Well, Leighton had played the perfect yep. point. He'd set it up so nicely. 
Well, that's, that's good to see, isn't it? I mean, he, he'd been positive, he'd come forward, and Tricker fan had gotten a lob over his head, but he wasn't deterred. Big serve, he was following it in. Well, crucial game, this, trying to consolidate the break. first serve backing up the ace and that's what he needs he just needs a couple of free points here and there just to take the pressure off well we said he was struggling on his serve at 38 uh, percent and then from break point down an ace and two unplayable first serve so when he really needed them, and they were there. And again, he's going for a change of strings, a change of racket. Do you think, while a little looser, maybe slightly the restring? Yeah, I would say so. He plays natural gut, Leighton, and that's very weather affected. Players who use synthetic, it's not such a big deal, but uh, the gut just seems to absorb all the humidity and moisture that's in the air. You get nothing out of it. So I'd love to. See lately just a little extra spring in his step. If you're going to drop shot him, you need to be close to the net yourself so that the ball doesn't have to travel too much distance. seemed as though he was in two minds there whether to cut it away finally or smack it deep in the corner he did neither I guess, I guess he was caught behind the service line there Come on! now he's got his teeth into the match now he has yes so uh, turning it around in the second set here late to do it so a bit of loose play, really, though, from uh, Shrikhi Fan, the drop shot, and then that missed high volley where there was a little bit of indecision. So he's struggling to work out here, well, I think, what, what his tactics should be. Well, I suppose against Leighton, he's got to make up his mind. Is it all out aggression? He's not a serve volley player. He likes to get a few free points off the big first serve. He flattens out both the backhand and forehand occasionally. heavy conditions he's not going to get as much off the court as he might in sunnier conditions but Hewitt he just played sensibly there he's taking a few chances when he gets a short ball he's giving it a ride when he has to defend he does so and he just there's that intangible he just gets himself he's a great match player late and that was just such an awkward situation the first set coming out at 3-4 
having been here, six o'clock in the evening here, he's been here since uh, he got an 8.30 car. Mm. So it's really, pressure builds, just wasn't a great scenario for him. He lost that first set. Probably figure, look, that's the worst thing that can happen. No dramas, here we go. It just shows you how big the AC served at uh, one love up to start the second set. It was a break point situation. Got out of that. Strong finish to the game and now a double break. and lows he's that sort of player have some terrific streaks in a match Ricker fan and can also have some patches where he's a little inconsistent well he got away with it Shrika fan but it was a most unusual shot to play the drop shot there it is. You can see he's on his back foot. Hewitt had hit the ball very close to the line. He played it well, turned into an awkward get for Leighton. Just could only shovel it up mid-court. an ordinary patch at the moment, Paradon Shrishafan and Leighton Hill will certainly make him pay. This will be a pretty quick set if he doesn't uh, lift his sights a little on his shots, get the radar working. Second serve around the frame. Catching a bit of a leading edge. Bracket face is very closed when you make contact with the second serve. It can happen. 40 30. Well, five breaks in this match already, Alan. It's a little surprising.
defended well there, Hewitt. He didn't allow himself to be pushed too deep in the court. So finally, when Trisha Van had approached, Leighton was in pretty good court position. This is the backhand. He takes it early on the rise. He's in quickly. And Leighton makes him play a half volley. Always a tough prospect. Japan. He's going through a bad patch, so he's just trying to slow it down a little, trying to collect himself. Chance to get on the scoreboard here. He just made it. So he does do that. That's his first game in the second set, but not that convincing. Tell you, I'll be pleased when they take the uh, the blowers away from the court adjacent to this one. It's been difficult for the players too. Yes. Quite often, when you play tennis, it's important to hear the sound of the ball off your opponent's racket. It gives you quite an indication of what spin they've imparted. And uh, on the court next to this one, all the blowers, probably 10 or 12 blowers out on the court, just making an awful racket. So players have had plenty to contend with here. If you're wondering, uh, or you may not be able to hear the umpire quite as clearly as uh, normal, that would be the reason. Now, let's quickly go back. And Leighton Hewitt has surprisingly dropped his serve. So it's now 2-4. Fan in danger of dropping serve again, so it's a little bit of a mixture here on court 11 at the moment. Strange the way Shrika Fan is playing here. Now, let's see if we won't be able to hear properly, but let's. Didn't quite make out what he said. Let's see if there's an announcement about anything. Crowd or. Yeah, could they please turn the blowers off in the next court? Down love 40 anyway after breaking to love. And another double. That's three in the game, so something has really badly upset his concentration. Hewitt jogs to the chair. I tell you, that is noisy though, isn't it? Well, given all they've had to endure to finally get on the court, and now there's uh, incredible commotion next door. And it, it must be hard for the players to literally hear the ball off the opponent's uh, racket. Yeah, no, I guess it's worth mentioning it. They're not just doing it to uh, no. put these players off. They are, in fact, trying to dry all the courts. They're About 100 matches behind. A host of matches to be played. Doubles, mixed, juniors, seniors. Juniors have been sent to an indoor uh, club miles away here from uh, 
National Tennis Centre. So not much atmosphere for them either. One of the big uh, junior events on the calendar, and they've got to go and play at an indoor centre somewhere with uh, no atmosphere, no stands, no people. Well, the good news is that this weather is meant to clear. <laughs> Tomorrow. Yep, the next three days are meant to be very nice. Okay, Leighton Hewitt. 5 2, a chance to tie up this round of 16 singles match. Aces with that serve down the centre on that second court. Good slider. Catches quite a few players with that one. Third ace. Quickly to three set points for Hewitt. So, Paradise Shriska fan will need to uh, get his mind back on track. We'll start the third set here. Hewitt serves this out, which he does comfortably. So that's six a, games to two. A great response, isn't it? Came out here trailing 3 4, lost that set in pretty quick fashion. So, terrific response there from Leighton. All right, well, we're at one set all in this uh, match. Paradon Tricky Fan is going to change his shirt. We're going to take a break and then we'll come back and see the start of the third set. Under the court that we're interested in. Third set between uh, Leighton Hewitt and Paradon Tricky Fan. Hewitt back with a vengeance in that second set, 6 2. Tricky Fan serving to start the third. for him there. back I think second serve and the ball not quite coming on to him in these heavy conditions uh -huh. I think the blowers have been uh, switched off Finally. Mm. Well, he seems a little impatient, Shrikavan, doesn't he? He's not trying to build the point, he's just teeing off a little too early in most rallies. Good first serve though, 30 all there to set up the point. You see how far back Leighton was forced there and irritated with himself, but the quality of the serve did the damage there. As it did there as well to give uh, Shrikatan the game. 
and he's come good since they've turned the blowers off. Carradour, two big serves. Well, he's a, he's a dangerous prospect if he starts to get that first serve going. It's flat. He hits it pretty hard. He's accurate. He's only 55% for the match. Carradorn, so he'll probably be looking to improve that, but uh, he's a tall man, and when he gets that first serve going, he's an awkward proposition. Well, Hewitt's first service percentage has improved. Remember we mentioned earlier it was at 38%, so it's now up to 46, so it's heading in the right direction. Very rarely does he ever serve in a match, though, above mid-50s, which I think does hurt him a little. Serving now for the first time in the third set. One set all, love one. It'd be interesting, though, wouldn't it, to take a stat of how many balls have hit the net as opposed to floating along? Pretty high percentage, I'd reckon. Two unforced errors uh, for Paradon Shrika fan, and we've only played uh, 17 games, 19 games rather. It's a lot. start for him in this third set. One off. Game there. 
Couple of errors from the racket of Leighton Hewitt. So I've got a feeling this will be a bit more tightly contested, this third set. Well, it was almost as though Shrika fan, he let something get to him in that second set. We weren't sure what it was, but his concentration was wayward. He wasn't particularly patient. Leighton lifted his game and kept the ball in play, served with a little more authority in the second set. But Shrika fan, he's obviously right at the ship somewhat. Come out pretty strongly here early in the third. Strange, isn't it, in tennis, how the, the end of a set is such a punctuation point. Invariably, the momentum of a, of a match changes at the end of a set. It's very hard to disregard a score. Particularly if it's been really a tight set and you're absolutely just relieved to sneak out of it. It's hard not to have a little letdown. Not that that one was in that situation, but you're right, this often affects one player or the other. Get off to a poor start. The next set, sometimes difficult to recover. Trisha fan, for me, he's the type of player that if Leighton can just stay with him when he gets hot, and he will get hot for 10 or 15 minutes, and if Leighton can just hang with him in those periods when he does get flashy and play some brilliant shots, Leighton will be too steady for him. But uh, within that 10 or 15 minutes, he's quite capable of, of putting together a break or two of serve and running away with a set. So Leighton really just has to... He's a great match player, Leighton, and he just has to go with him. One, two. <laughs> Serving a lot to the forehand, Leighton. Schricker fan, he actually returns with quite a, an extreme backhand grip. Almost waiting for the backhand. Leighton feeding his forehand at the moment. <laughs> so he has to make the change. From backhand grip to forehand grip. You can see there he stands there pretty much ready to hit a backhand. smooth backhand it is. Well, he strikes these three backhands very sweetly. Taking the ball on the rise. Great shot to close out the game. Leighton uh, is in the centre of the court. He didn't have any angle. His body weight was... Uh, he's being forced backwards. Fine shot. You can see this. He's on the way back. Just opens the shoulders. Wrong foot's shrinking fan. Two all. from Hewitt under attack. Quality pass there. Well, we talked about Roddick last night passing on the run on the backhand side. Nobody does it better than this man. Particularly the cross-court backhand. That's the one he loves. And urging himself on now. He can sense that uh, opportunity to sneak a break here. Rush that forehand trick of hand. 33 unforced errors to 20. Leighton just holding him up a little there. Oh. He couldn't have been by much.
pretty handy time for his third ace. were very, very short there anyway. Irritated with himself for me in the end, making an error, but uh, not much depth on his shots there. Well, I think today's a day, if you mistime the ball slightly, you're just not going to get any help at all. It really has to come out of the middle. Baseline battle. Yes. Well, he's very wary of the Hewitt passing shots, but sometimes you think that uh, Schricker fan, he's got a few opportunities to come in. He tries to stay back and just hit one more forehand. On that occasion, he got it wrong, sailing long. to just be a little erratic, Paradon Shrisafan. And a huge point here for Leighton Hewitt. going wide he said come on as he thought he'd got the break I'd say it looked like it was going through the air it looked like it was going wide but I think these heavier conditions and it just must have caught the line fell at the last moment well Leighton didn't really argue the call so it must have been a correct one Given another chance here. Continues to play an erratic brand of tennis. Fifth double for Shrisa Fan, but a key time, that one. Second break opportunity for Leighton Hewitt. Central chair umpire on a game point yeah. break point. I want to see Hawkeye uh, when we need him. Don't have it on these outside Gosh, courts. That looked clearly wide. Well, he's got to put that out of his mind. It's still break point, play two. This time there's absolutely no doubt. And a pumped up Leighton Hewitt heads for the chair. Has the vital break in this third set. He takes a break and so will we. And we'll be back to see if he can consolidate here in this fourth round match. Double fault hurting Trisha fan there on the break point. 
Perhaps a little lucky that he hadn't been broken earlier. Seemed a dubious uh, overrule by the chair umpire. Here's some Aussie supporters in the crowd urging Leighton on. He just looks too erratic tonight, though, uh, Paradigm Shrieker fan, the way the match is going. I think he'd have to make a pretty major turnaround. 3-2 Hewitt, one set all. And Leighton is really getting this uh, forehand. He's getting some free points on his serve to the forehand. That's a nice little safety valve to have. Well, it's good, though. Leighton has basically, he's just dug his heels in, hasn't he? He came out a little tentative, and it, that was understandable given the scoreline in, in the first set. 3-4 down, that's a very tough position to come out and have to fire. But since then, he's basically, he's just accepted all the challenges that have been thrown at him, the blowers, oh! the heavy conditions, court 11. And he's just taken it all in his stride, and he's just playing the match and playing every ball for what it's worth. First double fault for this set, three for the match in total. Well, you could count the errors that have gone over the baseline on one hand. Good hitting, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, good forcing tennis and gutsy tennis because 30 loved to 30 all where he'd served a double and then missed a shot. Didn't go into his shell there though and play safe. Really forced the error. miss from Leighton now. I mean, that was just a routine backhand for him. But it, it almost seemed as though he was out in front of the ball. And I think we've got to accept that both these players and uh, everybody that gets out on court tonight, they're going to struggle. It's like a different tournament out here. They've been sitting in the locker room for three days waiting to play. When they finally get out on court, it's like playing in pea soup. And usually conditions here at the US Open are lively. It's hard to control the ball. Today it's hard to get anything on it. Well, that's been an effective weapon for him, though. That swinging serve to the forehand. For him, he now has got that two-game break there, 4-2. As we've said, Shrikapan can really play some inspired tennis, but at the moment, uh, it's not happening for him. Double faulting to give away his serve. And the consistency, really, of uh, Hewitt really bothering uh, Shrikapan at this stage. Struggling on the forehand side, Shrikapan. 
It's his stronger side in that he can uh, generate more pace, but his backhand is probably the more classical shot. He's just been found out on the forehand today when he's been forced to create his own pace. Well, this would be a bonus if Leighton could pinch this game. Double break. Two forehand errors, 41 to 24. Good percentage of those would be on the forehand. So that's three for the game. There's no thought of him uh, slowing down, though, and trying to just get it under control, is there? He's just keeping on whacking it here, Shrika fan, and committing the errors. Oh, that's a terrible oh, shot, really, at Love 40, pretty much conceding the game. <laughs> Playing right into Hewitt's hands here. That, it is an unusual performance from Shrika fan. Normally, he's a pretty tough customer. That was the mo a most unusual game by his standards. And almost a resigned to losing his serve just watch this shot here no real thought he was always walking before he yep. uh, before the ball had hit the net well he'd have to be worried about his forehand i mean he just slapped three wild ones in that last game to go down love 40. so obviously he's having trouble with his timing i think under these conditions because as you said it is a big shot for him but there's quite a few off center hits maybe getting a little early in the swing he's pulling quite a few cross courts wide well, you need to have a bit of margin in your game this evening in New York. You need to get the ball up first and foremost. And, and Shrika fan, he's pretty flat. And uh, you almost think, too, that particularly on the forehand side, he likes the ball coming on so he can flatten it out and generate some pace. And when he's forced to make his own pace, more often than not, he's way out in front of the ball, a lot of miss hits, and really struggling on return. So this is a good effort from Hewitt. He's just doing, he's getting the job done. Business first, get the win under your belt, move through to the quarterfinal, stay alive. There's some Swiss fans there in the red with their, uh, Thai fans rather, and the red with their flag trying to urge their man on, but he's really in a bit of a trough at the moment. And Hewitt to serve with new balls for a two set to one lead. sudden the new balls come out and Leighton gets caught late so a big difference between balls that have spent nine games and the one straight out of the can So many variables in tennis, isn't there? Not just your opponent, the weather, change balls every nine games. It's something new. Those first two points of that game, Leighton was late. And once again, he gets the cheap point by swinging it wide to the Schricker fan forehand. Tidy this game from Hewitt as well. Chance for Shrika Fan to remain in the set. He needs something to lift him. Can't find it yet. Well, we've got unforced errors 
for Shrikha fan. 43. I wouldn't mind breaking that down into backhand and forehand errors. I'm sure that three quarters have been on the forehand wing. Very untidy on that side. Still break point. Well, he was late. New balls and a couple. The first two points, he just didn't quite pick up the pace of the ball. He caught it late. Got down. Love thirty. Thankfully, though, he's got the double break. It's a very strange match, really, isn't it? I mean, uh, Leighton's playing solidly, but not at his highest level. But enough to keep his nose in front. And Shrikha fans playing fairly erratically. Well, Leighton, to me, he, he's just getting the job done. Yep. Doing what he has to do to squeak out a win here. Seventh double vault from uh, Shrisha Fan. Unusual for him. Well, this time the forehand finds its mark. Well, he doesn't hold back on the forehand side. And when he gets it right, it's a very impressive shot. Leighton's almost back with the lines, people. Again, couldn't get any depth on the return. All of Hewitt's shots in that rally landing on or in even short of the service line. up a little. Served for the set already and lost it. And Shrika fan now a chance to pull back and make him serve it out again. Completes the game with an ace. So it is tightening up a little here. 5 4 for Mason Hewitt. Served for the set once. The chance to pull up to 30 all in that last game and missed an easy ball on his forehand. So I think, he's, I think he is a little tentative still. Still rather be where he is on the scoreboard, though, than uh, Paradon Shrisha fan. It's unusual, too. I mean, I guess Shrisha fan, he, he's hit some wild shots. Leighton's playing accordingly. He's keeping the ball in play. If all of a sudden he starts blazing, it can almost take you by surprise, and Leighton just has to go with him here. This is that little 10 or 15-minute spell I was talking about where Shrisha fan can get really hot and somehow... Clayton just has to stay with him and negate some of these winners. Keep him honest, because he will give you the free points. The habit he has of uh, pouring Time. cold water onto his uh, thighs and calf muscles at the change of ends, then toweling off. 
Weather looking quite promising at the moment. Almost blue skies. Yeah. Still overcast, but a little bit of a, a break in the clouds, as you can see there. So I think we've got the prospect for the exciting uh, evening of tennis. Just needs to find the range with the first serve here. Couple of free points, and he'll be home. Seats, please. Thank you. Four. Four. The point he wanted, that first point takes a little heat off you. Well, he's starting to look for this forehand return now, Shrika fan. He was waiting on that one. Unusual that Leighton miss hit the backhand, completely wrapped it around the frame. The ball shot off his racket. Fortunately, landing in and then coming up with a great lunging backhand pass there. Shrika fan couldn't control it. Three set points, Hewitt. Steps to one lead in this match. There's some Aussies in the crowd. They're happy with that. They've been cheering him on. And a workmanlike performance, I guess we could say so far. But as you see by the scoreboard, Leighton Hewitt ahead two sets to one, and we'll be back with the fourth shortly. Uh, hopefully, some periods of uh, uninterrupted play, something we haven't been used to in the last four days. It's Shea Stadium in the background, the home of the New York Mets baseball team and interestingly while they played three days in a row the last three days they were able to uh, complete their uh, uh, matches okay well we'll now back here start the fourth set Uh, that record that Nal Bandian holds over Federer, it might be significant. Yep. Federer can't, has yet to beat him. And that would be quite an upset here at the US Open. Well, Hewitt's record's pretty good against uh, Shrisha Fan. Five times they've played, and Hewitt's up 4-1. It's hard, isn't it, to to decipher a game plan from Shrika Van here today? He's just content on just hitting. Some good, some bad. A 
think it's too much backcourt tennis from him, though, Wally. I mean, he does uh, have a good aggressive game. I think he's going to stay back and just try to out-hit Hewitt from the back of the court. Well, I don't think that would be advisable. Now you look at uh, both players. Well, they've both ventured to the net 13 times. don't see him winning with that style of play. No, and it's not as though there's any real urgency to try to create a point to get to the net. He's just waiting for a vague opportunity to rip a backhand or a forehand and more often than not he's not ahead in the point or he's not controlling the point. He doesn't really deserve to do so and accordingly he's made a lot of errors and Hewitt has capitalised. Hitting that ball, 30 all. Well, he's upset there. He just missed time a couple of backhands. That's not usual for him. just over the service line, down the middle of the court, but luckily, Shrisha Fan couldn't deal with it. Well, I think part of Shrisha Fan's problem is he doesn't... he doesn't look upon that shot as an approach shot. He just tries to hit a cold winner. There's no thought of maybe pushing that ball deep in the corner and trying to knock off the volley. He just wants to hit a cold winner from the back of the court, and that's not easy against Leighton Hewitt. Yeah. I mean, Hewitt's one of the quickest guys ever to play the game. Uh, error. Short ball on his forehand then. He did take a little offense. Hit it deep and moved in and forced the error. I think he has a very healthy respect, obviously, for the Hewitt passing shot, so he's probably too much at the moment and uh, overdoing, staying at the back of the court. plays Parador and Shrisha fan doing a lot to lift the profile of tennis in Asia not just Thailand where he's from and he plays that shot sparingly but he plays it as well as anyone just holding the backhand there the nice wrong footing backhand down the line more often than not he'll go cross court I actually think he could probably go down the line a little more, Wally. I mean, you and I both don't like to see the players going for wild shots down the line when they're really on the run or way behind the baseline, but uh, it's a good shot of latency, and uh, it's probably overdoing the cross court at the moment in most of his matches, not just uh, here. Nice to see, too. There's an ace there, but the previous point, little change up, serve and volley. Mixing it up here, jumps to a 40 love lead. Oh. 
Indeed. It must be hard to play Shri Kapan, though. You don't quite know what mm. you're going to get. It's a string of winners or force, forcing play, and then you'll make a couple of unforced errors, and you're a little bit of a passenger at times. Good game, though, from Hewitt. Confident game there to open the fourth set. He's certainly not the type of play you can get any rhythm against. Now, Shrika fan, he's got the high backhand volley, he hasn't got it right. And there's the problem one huge step, not balanced. off with an attempted yeah. drop shot to win the point I think pretty ill-advised from uh, Shrisha fan that's good play from Hewitt there matched him from the back of the court out of frustration going for the drop shot it wasn't on Not 30 Uh, Shrika fan, he's not about to serve and volley, so he just basically was trying to chip that ball back into the, get it back into play. Any old how. very erratically some expensive double faults have hurt Paradon Shrisha fan in this match that's his eighth this brings up a triple break point double rather so he's really again we're highlighting that it's rather an erratic performance from uh, Shrisha fan Turning from quite a ways back on the baseline. He just needs to have a little forward momentum there. Move cross and forward, not just slide with the ball. Still break point. Well, more than a hop, skip and a jump there. That was about a triple with Pike. And Hewitt obviously delighted to get the break. Well, you mentioned before, Trichopan, uh, a lot of respect for the Hewitt pass, and that's why that was just a beauty. More often than not, he goes cross-court, does everything he can just to get this ball back in play. That's what he wanted. It's a nice approach. He did everything right there, Trichopan, just the quality of the pass. Look at Hewitt on the back foot, six feet behind the baseline. That is a great shot, and doesn't he know it? <laughs> Aussie flag being uh, waved as he goes to the change of ends there. Well, Alan, you, you always expected after a four day wait that when they finally got out on court, attitude was going to play an important part in this match. And uh, I'd have to say that Hewitt's attitude has been the grittier. He's been more determined. Shrika fan, he's tried to play a, a beautiful game. It hasn't quite been there, but he hasn't really dug deep and tried to guts this out. And Leighton's just done whatever it takes that uh, final break point. It was just an indication. I mean, he absolutely made sure he made the return. Didn't care where it went. He was just going to get it back into play. So 
So good determined performance from Hewitt. Still a lot of work to be done though. So you can see this court 11 pretty much in the lee of the Ash Stadium court. And trying to G himself up for a couple more efforts here. He'll need to. He's down two sets to one and two one with a break. another extended baseline rally where you got the impression that Hewitt was going to come out the victor just think all of these conditions I think they're a bit more conducive to Hewitt than uh, his game his style rather than Shrika fan First volley there from Hewitt. Let's see if we see this in replay. He comes in, it's a heck of a passing shot. And it just caught the net cord, slowed it down a fraction, gave Shrikopan time for the second pass. Lovely lunge volley there. I mean, it's such an underestimated part of Leighton's game. I think there's a lot of people that have been associated with him that would like to see him be a little more aggressive and why not when you can play volleys like this well, this is a good positive game isn't it after the break didn't go into his shell lost one point coming forward didn't take a backward step, came in the very next point, had a great drop volley, and he was on his way in again. So good positive stuff from Leighton. And successive aces. Finishing the game in style there. The service percentage continuing to improve as the match progresses. He's up to 54% now, which is about right on his number. Just starting to get a few free points, too. You say that Leighton is always around, say, 50, 55 percent of, of first serves in. Going back six months or a year, though, he would get a lot of aces in a match, mm. and he would get a lot of free points off his first serve. Now, in this little period of time where his rankings dropped from one to six, the hiccup, if you want, for want of a better word, he's been getting the same percentage of first serves in, but he hasn't been getting those aces or free points. Wild shot, little miss hit from Leighton there, he apologises. Not sure the shot was on that Shrikopan attempted, but... Well, do you think the players are starting to read where his aces come in a match, like a lot to the forehand on big points? Well, possibly, yeah, he's starting to play guys for the second, third and fourth time, and they are picking it up a little better, but... his supporters high leap into the air to put away that ball trying to make something happen didn't need to do it quite the uh, style that he did there but he's trying to see if he can get himself really fired up here
Oh, I like this play from Hewitt. This is just nice, positive. Not taking any risks. Rallying steadily, and then when he gets the ball that he senses that he can move forward on, he's doing so, he's not hesitating. And he understands the attacking game. He knows where to play the approach. He's got good balance at the net. for a backspinning drop shot, completely fooling uh, Trisha Fan, played it perfectly. It was on though, wasn't it? I mean, he pushed him wide. He's got him in the furthest point of the court, back left. So what do you do then? You go short right. It was on, and it's just nice to see him being a little creative, coming forward, playing a little deft drop shot there. The last few games, it's if a uh, weight has been lifted from his shoulders. Unusual uh, position there. Yeah, gee. Yeah. He's, uh, he's running out of ideas, I think. <laughs> no, he's going there again. On the second serve. running out of ideas. Well, Hewitt's winning the mental battle. That yep. was just a tired... That's tired a shot you play there. often well, isn't it? When you're out of ideas, you just want to shorten the rally so you pick a low percentage shot. It's a winner or a miss. A wry grin, he knows it was a mistake. He was behind the baseline. He's tried several from there. I mean, even if he gets it over, Hewitt's going to run it down. I yeah. wonder if there was a little ego involved there because Leighton had just played the perfect drop shot the moment before, and I think Shrika fan, he sees himself as the entertainer. Yes, he's just hanging on here. Well, that was, that was a big point in the context of this match. I mean, that would have given Leighton double break in the fourth. Might be a bit premature to say it was almost a match point, but uh, he'd like Leighton's chances if he can affect the double break. Big step and a lunge, the previous backhand. Yes. Doesn't get anything on it. And Hewitt there to pounce on it. Starting to fall for Hewitt. His ball hits the tape there, falls over, and when things aren't going for his Shrika fans hits the tape and falls back. And Hewitt has been stuck on 30 unforced errors for quite a while now. Shrika fan nearly double the amount, 57. a 
sexy shot though. I mean, he's just about out of here if he misses that. But having said that, it was on. The big first serve, he got the short reply. And if you are going to go down the line, this is the time to do it. When you're inside the baseline, the ball's up around chest height. example wasn't it mm. the geometry of the court it's just against you when you're that far back you've got to hit into a narrow part of the court over the high part of the net so Hewitt once again break point this is for a 4-1 lead those first serves he just couldn't get a big enough piece of the return oh, one of the best shots he's played in the match often catches a player and they hit deep to his backhand they move in they think he's uh, just going to play a defensive shot he sees them out of the, his peripheral vision just pushes it down the line well, not many two-handed players have got a good backhand slice. Leighton does, both defensively and offensively. Third break point here. Shrika fan. If anything, he's going for more when he's down break point. tactic a little earlier in the match just measured approaches he's a tall man he's a good athlete he's tough to pass he might be looking a little better on the scoreboard at the minute Keeps his hopes alive. Gutsy tennis he played there. Saved three break points. And we'll take a break and come back and see if Lane Stewart can maintain his advantage in this fourth round match. Leighton Hewitt. Would dearly love to double break there for a little bit of extra security. Send into evening now. I think by the way, uh, Shrisha fan finished off holding his serve there. We're going to see a pretty spirited charge from him here. Well, he always enjoys good crowd support, Shrisha fan, so maybe they can just help to boost his efforts. I think Leighton's getting better as this match goes on. As you said at one point, Alan, as a weight is off his shoulders and he's just starting to free up a little bit. Yeah. 
And that's when I think he just looks so much better when he's looking to go forward. Not that he necessarily has to, but when his body weight is moving forward, he's looking to make something happen. If he just goes into his shell and just rallies with these guys, he can get himself into trouble. He needs to be aggressive. Now three first serves, quickly to 40 love. Straight back on Shrika fan. Hopefully Hewitt can strike a blow here to put this match out of reach for the tie player. Two four. here allowing uh, Shrisha fan a pretty straightforward game it would appear 40 love tightening a little well this is how you'd like to characterize Leighton as a good aggressive baseliner capable of scrambling when necessary but he looks so much better when he's trying to make things happen just generating so much more racket head speed now all the nerves have gone all the tensions out of his body swinging freely and if you go back and have a look at some old tapes of Hewitt I saw a match during one of the rain delays here where he beat Roddick a couple of years ago I mean this is how he played he was throwing himself at every ball whether it be in defense or attack he wasn't hesitating using all points of the court A 
looked an easy game at Crawley Love. Hewitt had other ideas, and again, a poor choice of shot, decision-making error once again. Well, this is vintage Hewitt at this point. He'd scrambled, he chipped, he defended, turned defence into attack and very quick to pounce. And the drop shot from Shrikha fan, so once again, finding himself down break point, opportunity for Hewitt to go up 5-2 here in this fourth set. for weakness in the Nalbandian game. I can't find one. Strong off both wings. He moves well. He concentrates well. He's fit. Well, it's just about the last roll of the dice for Shrikafan. He had 40 love on his serve. He fought so well the previous game to hang on to it when he was down break points. And 40 love up there. Maybe he thought he was home and hose as far as... Uh, holding serve is concerned. A well, very strong finish to the game, though, from Hewitt. Yeah, I think it's, um, it's not just the scoreline, 5-2, but it's the way Hewitt's gotten to 5-2. I mean, he's just been very positive. He's approached the net eight times in this set. He's won six of them, 21 times for the match. And I just think that's a good indication. He's, look, he's looking to make things happen. He's being creative. He's just not relying on his legs to hit balls back from the back of the court and scramble all day long and get pushed around. He's trying to take it to these bigger opponents. That's how he got to number one, and that's how he'll get back there again. All right, well, he's serving for a spot in the quarterfinals. Well, that ball, I think, just shooting off the line. A little miss hit there for Hewitt, opening point. cover from a slight slip but he didn't crack the ball there Hewitt but he used the court he opened it up and when he's had some lackluster performances this year that he hasn't done that he's been too intent on just getting the ball back into play he's not using his full array of shots Leighton had almost stopped playing that particular forehand. Central chair umpire jumped in very quickly. Immediate overall, 20 minutes, finds himself now. Two match points. And that'll give it to him. A typical Leighton Hewitt performance there. Not all that pretty for a couple of sets. And Shrika fan good sport that he is warmly congratulates Leighton he'll be he'll be disappointed but Hewitt had his match today and he's a happy camper Leighton Hewitt pretty comfortably in the end 4-6-6-2-6-4-6-2 started to play some pretty good tennis though while in that fourth set yeah look he got better and better and it, it was tense the situation the score when he walked on and he was a little tense and his play reflected that 
But once he got going, he just got better and better. And I think that's a great sign for his upcoming matches, Alan. I mean, when he's moving well and hitting the ball well and trying to make things happen, he just looks like such a good player. And, uh, I mean, he's been the number one player in the world for the last couple of years, and that's how he got there. So I'm starting to like the look of Leighton Hewitt as this tournament progresses. OK, so Leighton... He's off, he's through to the quarterfinals, so his good record here at the US Open continues. And let's now take the opportunity to get over to the Armstrong and have a look at, or well, perhaps the end of this match, Juan Carlos Ferreira against the veteran Todd Martin. 5-2 in the fifth for the number three seed after three hours, 17 minutes.